Guys, where does the time go? It's already Monday night and the long weekend is over. Hey, what's up you guys? I'm Caitlin from Leave Me Alone Plants and today we are here with another haul video. Now, earlier this week, you may have watched my video comparing what you can get for $30 at Home Depot versus Lowe's. If you didn't watch that video, of course, go watch it after this one. But as I had explained in that video, originally my plan for it was to compare what you can get at big box stores for $20 versus local nurseries for $20. And when I went to my first local nursery, uh, I ended up way overspending and that idea completely went out the window. So um, I ended up splitting these into two separate videos and today's video is strictly going to just be a houseplant haul from local nurseries here in Arizona. Um, so I think in the beginning clips of this you might hear me kind of comparing big box stores versus local nurseries. Completely disregard that. We scrapped that idea. Uh, again, this is just strictly a haul. So if you guys are interested in seeing what we got here from some of my favorite local nurseries in the valley, then keep on watching and we're gonna get into it right now. Okay, so for today's video, we went to two places. Uh, the first one being Summer Winds on Tatum Boulevard. Now, that one is the local nursery that is closest to my house, and for that reason, it's the one that I frequent the most, and quite honestly, it's probably my favorite nursery here in the Valley. I kind of go back and forth between these two of which one's my favorite, but um, I think as of right now, it is Summer Winds. So with that said, I'm going to pop into our little journey that we went on there, and uh, I'll see you back here for what we got super quick. Okay, howdy y'all. Last stop of the day, we are outside my favorite local nursery here, Summer Winds. Uh, I am at the Tatum location. That is the one closest to my house. And uh, we are going to commence on the local nursery portion of this video. Um, this is going to be the only one that we hit because all the other local nurseries are like a bazillion miles away. And to be completely frank with you, I just don't feel like driving that far. Um, so we're just going to hit up this one today and see what we can get here for $20 or over budget, which is what happened at Lowe's. Um, but yeah, we're going to see what we can get here. Also guys, low key, not to put this person on blast, but like it's literally my dream car right there. Love those. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's uh, go inside. It is looking a little busy in the parking lot. So hopefully we can get some good shots in there and I'll see you guys soon. Literally the second that we walked in here, I grabbed something and put it in my cart, so it's going to be really hard to stick the budget. Let's see what we can do. We've also got a gigantic selection of pots here, literally in every color, and as somebody who color codes everything, I love that they are organized by color. Super pretty. I always want to buy one of these fire stick cactuses. I still do not have one. This one is gorgeous. It is $50. A little more than I want to spend, but I think one day in the near future we are going to acquire one of these. After living here for a couple years, I forget that this stuff is cool, but um, they have a ton of these gigantic cacti up here. Like, look at how big these are. Uh, that didn't really show good scale. But yeah, we have a ton of stuff here. One of the things I like about this place, they have really mature plants, but they're a little on the expensive side, so we're not going to buy any of these today. But if you're looking for um, really nice statement pieces, this is definitely the place to come. These, these are called Jade Frost. I have never seen these before. I don't think we're gonna get one, but uh, I thought they were worth showing you guys. They're really, really cool. Okay, we're back. Um, so the first thing that I actually ended up getting that I won't be showing you guys because they are living in a new home, uh, that is a carton of 1500 ladybugs. When has anyone ever been like, wait, hold on, we can't start. We don't have any ladybugs. That's never happened. That doesn't exist. Also, why would you need 1,500 if you needed any at all? Um, that will make more sense of why I purchased those in a future video. Drop your guesses down below what video that could possibly be. Um, I actually set up a whole little ladybug habitat and have been caring for them um, down in my plant studio. So yeah, don't have them to show you right now, but you will be seeing them uh, sometime in the near, near future. So stay tuned for that. Those guys were $9.99 and I was so thankful to finally be able to get them. Kind of unlike every other place in the rest of the country, um, we're not able to get them here during the summertime because it is way too hot to transport them. So they actually just came back in stock here not too long ago. So I had to swoop some of those up and now I am the proud, proud owner of 1500 ladybugs. Who would have thought? Okay, but getting into what you actually came here for, the plants. I think we're gonna go in size from the smallest to the largest plant 
And starting out, <laughs> funny enough, if you watched the last video on my houseplant haul from Lowe's and Home Depot, it is so coincidental that I got this guy, but we ended up coming home with another Croton. Now this guy is the Croton Tamara. Tamara or Tamara? Being a 90s kid, I can't help but think of like Tia and Tamara. Maybe I should have gotten a second one and they could have lived next to each other and been sisters. <laughs> um, but with that said, yeah, this guy is a Croton. I actually had no idea what it was when I bought it and I had to consult the very smart people in my Facebook plant group. Of course, they always help me out. They always know what it is. So yeah, really excited about this guy. For some reason, when I got him, I thought that he was actually like some kind of weird strain of a ficus tanniki. Um, that's what he looks like to me, just like a ficus tanniki with pointy leaves, but he isn't. He's a Croton. So <laughs> super cool, super excited about this little guy. And um, yeah, I am suddenly now the proud owner of three crottons after being a notorious croton slayer so super fun and uh, yeah was really really excited about this guy okay the next one that we have here don't mind he is looking a little on the crispy side and i also don't know what his name is so maybe you guys can help me out that is this little cluster of like variegated I'm not sure, Clover. Um, I know he's not gonna show up if I bring him closer to the camera because I have my light on because it is like the middle of the night and we're filming this video because I've been slacking all weekend. But um, I'm gonna take a picture of him. Maybe one of you guys could help me determine what this plant is. Um, at Summer Winds, I'm not sure if I got a video of this section, but kind of towards the front of their area, they basically just have this giant area of outdoor, um, like typically they're grown outdoor plants that uh, usually range in price from $3.99 to $5.99. Also forgot to mention this guy right here, uh, $4.99. This guy, uh, I believe he, he was somewhere between $3.99 and $5.99. Not sure the exact price, but yeah, they have this whole section in the front and it's basically just jam packed with like random plants. Um, sometimes they have tags on them, sometimes they don't. So it's really just a grab bag of what you're gonna get. Um, coincidentally, some of my favorite plants that I've actually ever gotten happen to be from this section. Um, I've picked up some of the Oxalis Velvet uh, Velvet Sunrise, which are so beautiful. I'll put a picture over here. Also the Choco Chili plant, that's where I was first able to swoop one of those up. So again, I, I feel like it's worth saying, don't overlook your nursery's outdoor plant section. At least here at Summer Winter, they tend to have really really cool plants there that um, you know aren't super like mainstream or popular but um, especially if you live somewhere like me where you have a lot of like bright light to give your plants even indoors then it's a great great place to look for super low priced plants that can be super cool so yeah again this guy not really sure what his deal is um, not really sure what type of plant it is but uh, he was really unique and for you know the cheap price I figured I was willing to risk getting something a little crispy um, and you know see what happens so yeah this next plant that we got today happens to be from my favorite group of plants y'all know I'm a Calathea lover and we got another Calathea now I actually happened to have one of these before I it was a plant that I had purchased online and unfortunately I think it had kind of some damage from shipping so I had it for a little while. It never really thrived for me and sadly it just slowly ended up dying over time. I'm not sure if it was an issue with the root systems or if it was an issue with perhaps myself. Uh, it very well may have been. But nonetheless we ended up getting a second network Calathea. Um, now again not sure if it is going to pick up on camera. If not I will post a picture of it right over here and um yeah really the defining feature of these guys they might not look like much from far away but when you get up close they have this beautiful like their name would uh suggest mosaic pattern so yeah it was a super full plant it looks super healthy and uh i just had to swoop it up it was 29.99 which i don't think is like a killer price but i also don't think i was getting raked over the coals for this plant so yeah overall i was happy with it and again you know for a plant this full and this healthy i think it was totally worth it so glad to have this guy back in my collection hopefully i don't kill it this time overall it seems like it's going pretty well also um completely unrelated but shout out to plant stand of arizona they make these beautiful, like, I don't even, they're not like painted, but like kind of a variegated, uh, <laughs> variegated ceramic pots, um, terracotta. I always forget what these are called. Yeah, it's like variegated terracotta. I really, really like these. So if you're here locally, um, 
definitely go pick some of these up. They like always have them there. But yeah, uh, that's it. And we are going to put this guy aside for now. The next plant that we got today, you guys may have heard me right when I walked into Summer Winds, I was like, oh my God, how are we going to stay under $20? I already found things that I like. This was the plant that I was talking about. It was right at the very front of the store. And as soon as I saw it, I ran up and grabbed it. And that is this purple peacock tail. Um, now, once again, you guys probably noticed if you watched that last video, I kept mentioning how I was really, really into the kale that they had everywhere. And this guy, man, he just took the cake. Um, I think I talk about this a lot, but I really enjoy like Dr. Seussy looking plants. And like, to me, this is the ultimate <laughs> Dr. Seuss looking plant. What are those trees in like Horton Hears at Who? I can't remember what they're called, but like, that's what this plant reminds me of. I think it's so gorgeous. And um, if you don't know about kale, something that's really interesting about them is they actually get more vibrant and they really thrive in colder conditions. So I've been leaving him outside my patio recently. He seems to really like it, seems to be going well. Um, and uh, yeah, I did read that even though these are ornamental, you can actually eat them. Um, I don't think that they taste very good, but I do believe that you can still eat them. So uh, yeah, perhaps we will do a salad recipe with our ornamental kale, who knows? But yeah, overall, I know like, it's not a standard house plan to have kale, but I do think that this guy, at least for this season, is super cool, super weird looking, and bonus, he was only $8.99. So I felt like for that price, you can't go wrong. Okay, Mr. Horton, we will set you over there. And our fifth and final plant that we got at Summer Winds, I was gonna say today, but actually not today, literally like actually a week ago, um, that is this Apuntia Old Mexico. Oh my God, you guys. How cool is this Apuntia? Now I'm gonna say what you're probably thinking. Which is that this plant looks like a whale fin. Now I do not have a whale fin Sansevieria, but I have always wanted one. So when I saw this single paddle of Apuntia sitting there, I had to scoop him up. Now this is, I don't know if I said it already, I'm like losing my mind here. This is an old Mexico um, Apuntia. And the really cool thing about it, I'm not gonna do it because I'm still paranoid, but they actually don't have spines, which is so cool. Um, if you watch my video on um, caring for prickly pears, you'll know that I talk about how I despise, absolutely despise the spines on Apuntia. So the fact that I can like walk past this guy and um, not be brutally attacked is fantastic. And I think I've said this before, but the way that I really know that I am uh, onto something good with a plant when I have it in my cart is when the people from Summer Winds, like the employees, come running over and they're like, oh, well, it's such a cool plant, which is what happened when they saw us. They're like, oh my God, it's a single petal. That's so sick. Maybe they're just trying to encourage me to come back and uh, being ultra friendly. But I do think that people happen to be really impressed by this cactus because I know that I was. So yeah. Yeah, again, that was our fifth and final plant that we got at Summer Winds, so um, yeah, we're just going to send them over here. Okay, so now we're going to move on to part two, and that is visiting my other favorite nursery here in Arizona, and that is Whitfields. Now, Whitfields has multiple locations. The one that I tend to go to the most often is the one in Glendale, and Whitfields probably would be my favorite nursery. The reason it's not is simply for the fact that it is such a far drive for me. Okay, it's it's really not that far, but like a really frustrating route. So I don't like driving there. It is just stressful. And I'm someone who loves driving, so that's saying a lot. But um, yeah, with nonetheless, let's go take a little tour of that nursery. And uh, if you don't like watching the shop with me part, then you can fast forward and we'll get into what we got there. So yeah, see you guys soon. Hey, what's up, you guys? So we just pulled up to Whitfield's. Uh, the Gilbert location. I believe there's a couple other locations, but um, yeah, this would literally be my all-time favorite nursery if it wasn't for the fact that it is a little far away, and I also have to drive on the 60. If you live in the valley, you probably know why that is not wonderful. So um, we're going to go check it out. We're going to go see what they have. Uh, sometimes they have little critters running around, so maybe we will see those today, but yeah, let's go. See, I told you if you found one. So for the longest time, I used to overlook this section. It's kind of tucked away in the back, but it is all the cacti and succulents. But I have found some really cool things here over time. So definitely don't <laughs> skip this part. Come check it out. Look at these gigantic euphorbia. They're literally as big as I am. Super cool. Now, this area is usually full of all kinds of big, like Bird of Paradise and uh, Monstera. But today it is empty because the Christmas trees are in here. And here we are, the main reason that I am obsessed with Whitfields. I 
adore this greenhouse. So let's go take a look around and see what we can find today. I don't know exactly what this is, but I keep seeing them at local nurseries. This guy's a lot cheaper than I've seen anywhere else. He is $45 and pretty big. They have these other ones here too, but they're a little chewed up. So I don't know, we're gonna think about this guy. We might come back to him. Okay guys, I'm not sure if you can tell how large this asparagus brand is here. It is actually gigantic and it's only $16. I don't do well with ferns, but it's really, really cool. For all my snake plant lovers, we have this entire table of snake plants right here. Lots to choose from, and they do have some whale fins over here. I need a fountain like this in my house so you can like feel the humidity in here. It feels so good. So honestly, I don't really come back here, but they had kind of limited selection, so I just wanted to take a peek around elsewhere. Um, but of course here, are the bougainvillea if you are new to somewhere that is super like hot and sunny you have to get one of these they are the greatest plants for outdoors okay so honestly they didn't have that great of selection today i think it's honestly because they are switching over from having like stock of christmas stuff like christmas trees and poinsettia to everything else so Ah, we didn't get anything too fantastic today. We did get one thing though, one thing that I'm pretty excited about. So comment down below if you have guesses of what we got here. Um, to go to plant stand is not to not go, to go, to not go. I don't know, let's see how far it is. Okay, plant stand is 30 minutes away. Um, for those of you who don't know what plant stand is, it's kind of like the main, I guess if you wanna call that, the main nursery here in Arizona. It's like the one that feeds all the other nurseries. So, um, it's 30 minutes away. We're not gonna go today, but drop down below. But drop in the comments down below if you would want to see a video there in the future. If you enjoyed this video so far. Um, but yeah, I think we are going to end our haul here today. And uh, yeah, we'll see you back at my house. Okay, and we're back. So. Um, unfortunately, like I had said in the video of me sitting in my car, uh, we did only actually end up getting one plant while we were there, which again was a little frustrating because it's like a hike to get out to Whitfields. But nonetheless, I am really, really enjoying this plant so far. Drum roll please, drop in the comments which one you think it was. Yes, perhaps you guessed it. We did get the cactus fern. Um, I did have to look up the name of this guy after I brought him home. Like I had said in the video, I have been seeing these all over the place at my local nurseries and I never knew what they were but I was always really drawn to them and um, typically when I do see them at my local nurseries they're usually about like 75 or 80 dollars for this size so this guy I ended up getting for 45 and I kind of thought that it was a really good price um, I'm not sure what these like cost by other people but um, yeah just based on what I've seen recently I was you know it is a little expensive for a plant but um, he is large and in charge and I just like him okay so um, you guys may also notice that we have him sitting in our strange little like goblet that we got um, in our thrift store haul so hey as always if you haven't checked out that video go check it out afterwards but yeah <laughs> one of the reasons I think I'm so drawn to this plant if you're familiar with the movie Beetlejuice I absolutely love that movie you may remember that like the annoying stepmom is like an artist and <laughs> there's this one scene where she has a skull and it's like flying into the side of the building and like trapping her and she's screaming ah and uh, yeah anyway that sculpture happens to remind me of this plant so I don't know weird connection but yeah part of the reason why I like it so I'm not sure if the file got lost or if it got corrupted or what happened but uh, I'm missing the end of this video, so it's over. Uh, that's all. Uh, just going to say thank you so much for watching until the end. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next one.